I think that, uh, well, today there are many people in the world, including Jewish people, who say that I am an anti-Zionist, but not anti-Semitic. So the question is, is that possible? I think that we actually have to define three terms. There's anti-Zionism, there's anti-Semitism, and there's legitimate criticism of Israel. I, as an Israeli, many times criticize the, the, the policies of my own government. Does that make me an anti-Zionist? No, because if we say every criticism of Israel equals anti-Semitism or anti-Zionism, then everything is anti-Semitism. And if everything is anti-Semitism, nothing is anti-Semitism. So it's very important. At what point does, does uh, legitimate criticism of Israel become anti-Zionism, which is anti-Semitism in my opinion? At the point where criticism of Israel becomes obsessive when it becomes a fixation, when it becomes the greatest evil on planet Earth to the extent that, that many terrible other things that are happening in the world are completely ignored by the Human Rights Council of the United Nations, etc. When the legal settlement of Jews in the West Bank is declared as the greatest crime on, on planet Earth and the illegal op- occupation of the Cremean Islands and of uh, Western Sahara and of, of North Cyprus is completely ignored. So when it becomes obsessive, uh, obsessive criticism, at that point you say, wait a second, this is a double standard. Right. So, so why why is the Jewish state uh, uh, condemned in a way that that, that is in an, according to a standard that's not applied to anyone else? And when it comes to anti-Zionism, first of all, we have to ask what is Zionism? Zionism, I believe, the most basic definition of Zionism is the the right of the Jewish people to national self-determination. So, if you believe that uh, you're anti-Zionist, which means you don't believe that the Jews have the right to national self-determination, but you believe that the Palestinians have the right to national self-determination, then you're definitely an anti-Semite because you apply again an unequal standard. The only situation in which I would say somebody who says, uh, I'm, I'm anti-Zionist but not anti-Semitic, is somebody who doesn't believe that any unique people group should have the right to, to, to national self-determination. If nobody has that right, and for that reason the Jews don't have it either, and therefore I'm an anti-Zionist but not an anti-Semite, I could maybe agree to that, but I don't hear anybody arguing mm. that today. Most people would say that the Palestinians have a right to, to national self-determination. 